Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007, and today we're looking at the Call of Minecraft Zombies plugin. So, this is a really fantastic mini game which basically recreates Call of Duty Zombies in Minecraft. Now, this plugin is quite a few years old and it was left kind of alone for a while, but recently the developers come back and updated it and fixed bugs, and it is working really well. So what we're going to do is show you how to set up an arena and how it works. So first of all, if we do forward slash ZO help, that's going to show us all of the commands. And then we can do ZO help admin, and this is what we need to do. So if we do forward slash ZO create arena, let's call this one test for simplicity. And it's going to tell us what we need to do. We need to select the entire area with two points and then set a few locations. So this red block here is going to be point number one, T1 in chat. And then we're going to fly to the opposite corner at the bottom down here and this is going to be point two and this is going to encapsulate the entire arena and then we need to fly to where we want the lobby so this is going to be here so lw for lobby warp this is going to be the spectator area spectator warp and then finally where do you want players to spawn when they start the game so somewhere inside the arena and this is going to be our game warp like so. Type done and that's going to save all those and then what we need to do now is add a load of zombie spawns. So you can add as many as you want and when you add one it's going to be one of these ender portal frames. So I'm just going to add a couple around here and obviously you can add them all throughout the map as many as you want and once you're happy with that you can hit done and that is going to set the spawns for the arena. So in front of me is a door, and just like in the real zombies, we can purchase the door to get to the next area. Now the cool thing about this is the spawns behind the door are linked to it, so when it opens, they will start working. So if I wanted to create a door, what we need to do is pop down a sign and make sure we have our door area, and we can do four slash ZO add door for the arena test. This is going to give us a wooden sword, so we need to left click the top left corner of the door, right click the corner, hit done, so type that in chat, and now we need to go to the other side where it will now show the ender frames where the spawn points are, and then we need to left click these so it is linked to the door, hit done, and now we need to left click any signs that will affect the door, type done, and now we need to type the price in chat, so $10. And now that is how you would set up a door and obviously you can go around the map adding as many of those as you want. There's a few other things we can add such as a mystery box. So pop down a chest and then put a sign on the front with zombies on the top line, mystery box on the second line and then the price on the third line so this is going to be 50. We can do the same for perks and weapons so if we do zombies on the top line square brackets perk machine is going to be on the second line the type of perk such as speed cola and then the price and then over here we have a gun it's the fal what we can do is add more of them so put gun on the second line and then on the last line what we need to do is put the price of the gun and then the price of the ammo after the forward slash like so and that's how you would create that and then if we fly out of the arena we can create a couple of signs so i'm going to come over here and create a join sign and this is going to be in the same format, so zombies in square brackets on the top line, join on the second, and then the arena name on the third. So that is a rough look about how you would set up an arena. Obviously you can add loads more guns and perks and teleporters and stuff like that and doors. But let's go ahead and join the arena. So obviously we're editing it at the moment. If you ever want to edit it, you can do the ZO edit arena test. Um, and that will allow you to break blocks. But whenever you're done with anything, just hit done. And then we can do ZO enable test to make sure it is enabled. And then we should be able to join it with the sign or by doing ZO join test. Now it gives us a sword and an M1911 and it's going to start in 50 seconds. And here we are, round one. We've been teleported to the game location and already there is a zombie that spawned. And what we can do is attempt to shoot him. There we go. So right clicking to shoot our weapon and let's go ahead and left click to reload we can come over to the wall and buy an fal and hopefully this will do the job slightly better and there's a couple of zombies left let's see if any are hiding up here and one has spawned here oh almost got him and there should be one more here he is and there we go so the second round is starting what we can do is 
right click and let's see what we get we're going to get the Chicom CQB and we can swap that with our starting pistol I'm going to come over here and let's go ahead and get a perk we now have speed cola and let's go ahead and buy the door the door opens and now the spawn points in here should start working oh and here we go they have begun to work and I'm actually pretty bad at this so here we are on the curse forge page there is also a spigot page with this but the curse forge has more information now with the commands you can see they are very straightforward you just create the arena set the points and then you can add as many doors barriers teleporters guns perks all that good stuff and then there is a wiki over here this is helpful for looking at all of the different weapons so these are the ones that you can add on the wall and then if we scroll down we have the signs as well so this is how I was making those really easily and you can add as many as you want and make it as creative as you can so if you want to download it head over to the link in the description but if you need a server to host it on check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.